now we're joined by Beauty EQ's editor, Trudy Brewer, and you've got the tips on choosing the best fragrance for Mother's Day. I have. Yeah. It's a really personal gift. Yes, but if is. you get it right, it can be a lasting fragrance forever. So how do you get it right? Like, what's, what's your tip? I, look, I think that today fashion definitely dominates fragrance, mm -hmm. and um, we've just done a little story about it, actually, because it's so poignant. I think you can look at what your mum's fashion style is and this type of clothes she likes to wear, and yep. sometimes that can guide you, and I can give you some tips on that. That's fantastic. Okay, so what about the ingredients? Is there any trends at the moment? You know? There definitely is. Um, Vanilla? Yeah. Well, no, it's more fruity, actually. Uh -huh. There's a lot more fruit and fragrance, and quite exotic fruits, like lychee, and mm. black currant and a lot of citrus leaf is being used these days to give give fragrance a bit of a bite a bit of a hit yeah um, but always florals you know they're never far from being on trend um, so you know those sort of more fruity light ingredients tend to be what fragrance um, um, connoisseurs are really starting to recommend right now and what have you got here today for us Trudy you've got some so I bought in I was going to talk to, to you a bit more about fashion. I mean, we've seen a lot of celebrity fragrances over the last decade. Yep. And now we're Everyone's seeing, got one. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> and actually, some of them are quite sweet and quite young. Yeah. So for a um, more mature woman, they're probably looking for something that's a bit more lasting yep. and a bit more classic. So um, of late, there's been a lot more designer fragrances. And I think designer fragrances are a fantastic thing to give as a gift because not everyone can afford a Gucci handbag. No or uh, a Louis Vuitton handbag. So fragrance is a great entry point into a designer brand. Um, so I've brought in a few of my favourites and these are going to be hot for Mother's Day this year. Okay. Um, I guess my first one I've got to say is my one of my faves this season. It's Givenchy. It's Dahlia Divin. It's their new um, creation. Um, it's La Nectar. And this I would call a bit of a floral oriental. So it's um, bursting with this beautiful fragrance of this flower called Mimosa. And it's a very light yellow oh, flower that grows in yeah, that grows in France. It's beautiful. So, um, yeah, mimosa. Um, what do you say? It's, what sort of fashion style is going to suit that particular I, fragrance? I would say somebody Stunning. who is quite classic, really. Yeah. You know, really yeah. classic. Loves a good white shirt, jeans. Likes to smell fresh, but likes her fragrance to last. And and the ingredient that makes that last in here is the vetiver and the tonka bean. So you get this light hit of beautiful light almondy sort of burst, and then you get that sexy tonka bean that yes, lasts. Yes, delicious. And what about this one? Um, um, nice Mew, bottle. Oh, Mew Mew Le Bleu. Um, this is a new second in the family of the Mimi fragrances. Again, it's quite sweet. You know, I, I, when I first looked at that, I thought it was going to be very sort of um, very fruity, but it is quite sweet. Lily of the Valley and patchouli in that one. The patchouli. Oh, it is sweet. Yeah, yeah, the patchouli can... is what really makes that last. But you know what? The bottle, look at that. Stunning. I mean, even if Who's you don't that use it to sweet. I mean, that really, I think a sporty mum would love that. Something that, you know, um, even a feminine, very, if you wear like feminine dresses, yeah. like, like very feminine fragrance, that would be Actually, a good what's one. funny is that when I sprayed that, it was really sweet, and then it sort of calms down. It does calm down. That's the patchouli yeah. that gives it that longevity. And what about this um, one? Look, Look Calvin that. Klein can do no wrong in the fashion world. He is absolutely hot, smoking hot right now. Um, Euphoria has been around for a long time. This is the new interpretation, which is called Deep Euphoria. Um, jasmine, patchouli, and as I was saying to you before, that whole burst of citrus at the start. So yeah. that's mandarin leaf. In that's there. delicious. What sort of fashion style on that? Um, um, I'd one, say Trudy. sporty. You know that yeah. sport luxe mum that likes to get around in her, you know, sport luxe pants and t-shirts and active, you know, wear. active wear. That's where we need Mel to talk about active wear. We call it sport luxe and at beauty okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then the last one's from Kenzo. Um, stunning bottle. Kenzo have done some beautiful fragrances in the last, you know, two or three years. This is a new um, elixir. Um, Kenzo, it's an interesting shaped bottle, isn't it? It's very interesting. <laughs> Don't imagine that would travel so well. But, um, <laughs> that one um, again is it's it's quite sweet at the start. Yeah, it it's is. got a lot of rose and vanilla in it. So you get the orange to start, and then that beautiful rose and vanilla, which actually makes it last. So you know there is it's a, a real. Bit, it's a bit older that yeah, smell, I think. Yeah. Um, rose is still very popular with women, you know, again, could be a classic, could be a bit boho, that lady, you know, who likes to layer her clothing, like <laughs> something that's sort of yeah. a bit sexier. Um, but, you know, designer fragrances, you can't go wrong. Yeah, fantastic. Awesome buys. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, happy Mother's Thanks Day. Thanks so much, Trudy. Okay, fantastic advice. And for more Trudy's uh, tips, head to her website, beautyeq.co.au.